Morning everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts. And I'm sorry if I don't sound like myself, I've got the crud. It's just a little sinus. Sinus. It's not really a sinus infection, I just got a little sinus drainage and stuff, but because I have this stupid hernia, every time I cough, it's torture. So, I'm going on about, I don't know, four nights of no sleep. I got a little bit last night, finally, uh, slept, set up in the recliner. So that my husband could get some sleep, because he had work this morning, of course. And the dog, who never wants outside when it's cool outside or cold, because he's a big baby. Um, woke me up on the couch. I'd, I'd been asleep about two hours, which is probably the longest bit of time I got in the last four nights. So I had to let him out. I'm sorry. I had to let him in. See, I don't even know what I'm saying. So I took the chance when I woke up to sneak into the bedroom and try to try to get a couple of hours sleep in the bed which I did manage to get about the same two hours before what he woke me up wanting back out so it just takes me forever to get going in the morning sorry about that it's taking me forever to get going this morning but I feel like I need to get something done so I don't really do cards, Christmas cards or anything. I've done a few for challenges and stuff, but I really want to start doing um, ATC cards. And I've got about, I don't know, I'm getting close to 800 subscribers. I don't know what it is this morning. Um, but when I get a little closer to 1,000 subscribers, I may do a... I may do some sort of ATC card challenge, just because I'd love to have a collection of them. Everybody, when you do a challenge like that, everybody's work is so unique and so different. And ATC cards being so tiny, they're easy and, you know, quick and easy to mail. It doesn't take any kind of special anything to mail it. Stick it in an envelope and mail it to somebody. So, but I'll, I'll, I'll do that probably after the first of the year. Um, my subbies don't go up very fast, don't seem to. <laughs> Nothing against you guys, because I love you guys. This is, um, this is the second one, actually. I'm not going to show the first one, because I am going to do a swap. And the first one is the one that I made from the swap, so I'm not going to ruin the surprise and show it. But what I did was, I took a 12 by 12 sheet... And I cut it down into the width of the paper by the three and a half. ATC cards are two and a half by three and a half. So I had this paper that I'd gotten from Beth in my um, in my care package. Love you, Beth. So I just loved this um, music paper, it, Christmas music paper. And it wasn't overly, um, you know, like it didn't have Santa on it, or it wasn't overly themed, just Christmas music paper. So I knew on the other side I could do whatever. So on this one, really, really simple. This was when my grandson and I were playing with the stamps and embossing powders. So I just sprayed the whole backside of the, um, this is a heavy cardstock paper. I just sprayed the whole back of it with the Lindy Stamp Gang um, Starburst, and this is the Ponderosa Pine Olive. I'm so totally uncoordinated. <laughs> and as you can see, it's got a gorgeous green, it's got a gorgeous green shimmer, y'all. <laughs> it's got a gorgeous gold shimmer with this really pretty pine green color. 
Okay, so what I've done is I took some of these same um, Craft Smart stamps that I have in my in my drawer, and I used some of the di different embossing powders. I have. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, I'm going to try to keep it together, y'all. I'm sorry. And so this is the little Nutcracker guy, and that is the um, mm -hmm, Silver tin Tinsel Embossing Powder. The Ranger Silver Tinsel Embossing Powder. Embossing Tinsels, I think is what it's called. This one with the Santa is the gold one. And this one, I wish I could have changed this one, and I could have... Um, I could have done a piece over it, but this is the partridge in a pear tree, and it's just done with the Christmas tree. I don't know if you can see the red sparkle in it, but of course against the green it didn't really show up very well, so I love this one. This is the, um, I believe this is the African gold. Um, Mm -hmm. I don't even know what the collection is called of the embossing powders. But it's the African Gold Ranger embossing powder. And I love it because it kind of has silver and gold both in it with the sparkle. And then on this one, this is the um, Snowflake Tinsel. See, I just have terrible lighting today because I can't see the sparkle at all. I hope y'all can like I told my husband it could be me because I can't taste anything either so he made a delicious biscuits and gravy breakfast yesterday morning and I couldn't taste the thing so around each um, tag whatever you want to call it ATC card size section <laughs> I just did a little glitter glue um, edging around it and then a little faux stitching with my paint pen and this is a it's supposed to look like silver but it actually looks a little more like a gold and silver mix on this one this one's just red and these all just came from the Dollar Tree these glitter glues now this one the gold is actually Studio G glitter glue the green again is from the Dollar Tree and then this one is actual stickles. It's the Stardust stickles. And I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's empty. Empty. I, I don't got none. So I'll have to. I need to invest in some stickles because that was the only one I had. <laughs> okay, so there's that one. Just simple, simple, simple. Um, I'll probably put this on my grandson's package because we had such a good time doing this bossing he calls it <laughs> TG I want to do bossing so we'll do more embossing he'll love that and then I did this one and I absolutely love this one I printed these off on my printer and they're actually just from my um, yeah print shop program and I tried to start it out telling a story because, of course, none of these images actually go together. I've just put them together. So I started out with the angel messenger. And again, I've done some of the Studio G glitter glue on the corner pieces and on the hair of the angel. Oh, and on the trumpet. Then I've done some crackle accents for the wings on the angel. And I'm sorry, the whole background of this one is um, Lindy Stamp Gang sprays. And I wanted it to have sort of a desert sunset kind of look. So this is, see if I can remember, I believe this is the um, Red Hot Poker Orange. The, wow. Autumn Maple Crimson, just a light, light touch. And then some of the um, Screaming Banshee Black. Okay, and so while we're still on the first section, I'm going to show you. I did distress the um, 
entire card all the way along the top. I'm just going to call it a card. And the back, again, I just printed, and it's a Christmas music paper. And that's from, I'm pretty sure from Graphics Fairy. And I'll put the link to that below. And this is just that um, Georgia Pacific 110-pound uh, card stock that I printed it on. So it's just one layer, and it's pretty thick stuff. Well, of course, it's two layers here. Um, I just did a gold um, glitter gel pen, and I did a couple of squiggly lines. I don't know if y'all are as ancient as I am. I hate to say that, but I can remember back in the day when photos would come, and a lot of times they would have this kind of a wavily, wavily? Okay edge on the on the edge of the photo as a little detail so then we've got Mary and Joseph going to Bethlehem in this section and if you can see there's Bethlehem in the distance and again I've done glossy accents to make them pop just a little bit and the rest of the detail is just the spray the next sections, the wise men being called to follow the star. I just okay, one more time. The three wise men being called to follow the star, and again, they're um, glossy accented as well to make them pop a little bit from the from the image and the gold glitter glue on the uh, on the star. And then the next section has them arriving at the at Bethlehem. Sorry for all the glare from the shimmer. <laughs> and uh, same thing again, they're done with the glossy accents. And some glitter glue on the star. And then the final scene is the nativity scene. And little uh, crackle accents on the little tree detail on the edge there so there's that one let me see if I can back up a little bit and show you the whole thing there alright I love that one and then last but not least this one again is images printed off the um, off the internet and this is again a piece of the Christmas music paper love those pine cones right there so pretty and I believe these were um, well I'm not even I'm not even gonna say I think they were collage images from Sweetly Scrapped, but I'm not going to swear to that. But again, I'll put the information below. So, each section is of a vintage Christmas scene. Beautiful little children sleeping with Santa coming in the door to bring gifts to put in their stockings. And I've put a little crackle accents on the stocking. And some glossy accents on the Merry Christmas and on Santa's holly above the door and on his on his head. This one, love her coming in with a basket full of holly and a letter. How sweet! Her little dog so excited. And I've done the stardust stickles for the snow always loved that on old Christmas cards and yes I constantly wear glitter <laughs> my husband will come home and I'll be the first thing he'll say would you glitter today besides you <laughs> again with the glossy accents just on the just on the uh -huh, capital letters there I love this old-timey Father Christmas talking to the kids outside. How cute. 
and I just glossy accented a few of his gifts. Um, his walking stick and his pipe have a little crackle accents on them, and some of the detail on the kid's clothes. And I guess I should have started with, I edged um, the edge of this one with, I believe, walnut stain. And then I sprayed the background with um, Lindy Stamp Gang Moon Shadow Mist in the Silhouette Silver. And you can't really see the silver very much because so much of it's covered up. I just didn't want it to be white behind there. I wanted it to have that vintage look. And then again, this is the tinsel um, embossing powder. And I've done the spray after I did the embossing so that some of the embossing even is um, sprayed. And I love that vintage look. So pretty. Okay, and then she's been out gathering a tree. And again, I've done the stardust stickles on the snow on the tree, trees, and then I've crackle accented over the tree, over that. And that one was just simple, simple, but so cute. And then last but not least, Santa standing over her bed. She's dream, dreaming of sugar plums, I'm sure. <laughs> Visions of sugar plums. I've done the glossy accents again on the holly, um, on a few of his presents in his bag and in his arms, and then on her doll faces. Um, yes, on the lettering again, and then a little crackle accents on the teddy, the teddy bear there. So, there you go. Just fun, um... Uh, something a little different than Christmas cards, but really, really cute um, setting on the mantle. Or I would have said setting on top of the TV, but they don't even make TVs you can set stuff on top of anymore. So That is literally all I've been up to. I've been sick since last Tuesday. Last Tuesday. Um, the Lord blessed me somehow Thanksgiving with, I didn't feel too bad Thanksgiving. So we had my son and grandson over and had a wonderful, wonderful dinner. My husband made a, uh, smoked pork tenderloin, um, stuffed with, um, stuffing. And, oh, it was delicious. And then we had the regular tr traditional, um, Thanksgiving sides. And some pie. So we had a wonderful, wonderful day. So hopefully, uh, if something don't change, I'm going to town tonight. And I'm going to get me some NyQuil or something so I can at least sleep tonight. And I'm hoping, hoping that will help. I hate, to, I hate to take anything when I know I really don't like I have a cold or anything. It's just a little uh, sinus drainage. But whoa. This this hernia is, uh, I believe they call it an epiglottal hernia, so it's between my belly button and my diaphragm, so it's higher up. So when I cough, it feels like I've got strangling ropes tied around me or something. So it's very painful to cough. So I'm exhausted from coughing. That's all I can say. But I will... I will, I'm sure, <laughs> get better. Last time I went to the emergency room, um, they told me it wasn't life-threatening, so I'm sticking with that for now. So I shall holler at y'all later. Keep me in your thoughts, and bye now. Hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I meant to say that at the beginning. My brain maybe will start working too, eventually, again. <laughs> Alright, really and truly. Holler at y'all later. Bye now.